Aries, you sexy mofo Aries, you. Oh, yeah. So the channeling I got for you here as I was meditating, a lot of fire, anger, and rage because of a past love, but also because of a present situation. I didn't get much on the present situation, but this past person dumped you and blames you for all their problems, belittling you every step of the way and every chance they get, they, they, they talk to everyone about it, wherever they are. That's weird, right? That's super weird. Um, you are the star, Aries. And yes, the money is coming in. You'll be out of debt very soon. Ooh, I think that's the present situation. Um, and if it doesn't resonate with everyone, that's A-OK. -okay. That's for who it needs to be for. Um, but I think that's the present situation you're angry about. Something about money. Either you paid money. Did, did this person, did you have to split debts with them? Was it a marriage? It felt like a marriage, <laughs> right? It was long enough for some of y'all. A lot of you, it was short-lived. And, and it was a catalyst for something. It woke you up to, to like how people really are. And it's unfortunate that it's not everyone. But again, how did you attract that? You didn't know about an individual like this. How would you know? All right? These individuals have a plan. They have an agenda. They have a target. They target people like you, like me, empaths, not even insecure. Someone is insecure. They're insecure. But when you look back on this situation too, it really upsets you. Block them, by the way, block them because they are watching everything you're doing right? Or vice versa. Aries, come on now. That might be the anger and the rage. Um, don't be afraid of what we're saying or doing. Because I know some people can get, especially if you're going through the spiritual awakening and you're seeing everything, breathe and stay calm. You don't have to do anything, especially towards these individuals you had no idea who surrounded you. For some of y'all, this was family. You don't have to be a Batman, okay? You don't have to be the vengeance of night or anything like that. Um, it'll take care of itself. Stick on your path. Be aware though. Be aware and beware because these individuals, okay? I'm saying beware because now you're aware of them. Your consciousness. How can you be conscious of something that you didn't even know about? You know, it was always there in your subconscious. But now you know and knowing's half the battle. Yo, Joe. That's right. All right, let's jump in here. I want to see, there might be a little bit of this past energy still there. Let's see about some future love. And then we'll also get into um, future money. Under pressure, anxiety, decisions, times, times running out. I think that's part of that anger and rage. I'm getting a money thing. Paying the bills, things like that. Uh, someone wants to go play scratch off tickets, do it. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to pan out, but do it. Two dollars. You never know. I was just reading a thing earlier. This, this, uh, oh, it was such a sweet story. This woman won a million dollars at like this BP gas station and her husband was, he was dying of brain cancer or brain something, but he was on the, he was on the verge of going, but he, he was afraid because they didn't save enough money and because his medical bills and things like that, that, you know, he couldn't leave his wife. She won that million dollars. God God works in mysterious ways, y'all, right? She won that million dollars. Two weeks later, he passed away and he was holding on. He was holding strong, but that's how it was supposed to be. He could let go now. He didn't have to worry anymore. You know, I mean, there's stories like this all over the place. Uh, don't let yourself be fooled. Ooh, look at this. Block spam calls. Exactly. Block them. Uh, some of those aren't spam calls, by the way. And if they come up restricted or... What's another thing the numbers come up as? Like, they just don't come up as a number. It's like the United States of America is calling you. Uh, you're like, okay, Mr. President, first of all, don't call me. Uh, <laughs> unless you want me to take over and do the job. It's all in the reflexes. That's right, for all my uh, big trouble little China fans out there. He, heck, Kurt Russell or, um, that's why I got my mullet going, y'all. Kurt Russell or, uh, uh, what can I think of the character's name now? You know what Jack Burton always says in a time like this. Me, I'm Jack Burton. Anyways, you take control of the situation. That's why we're channeling that. Um, someone has a little bit ego, bit kind of on the I'm gonna say dumb side, but like 
You know what? No, you're the fool. You're foolish. Thank you for correcting me. Thank you so much. Um, my spirit guides here. That's not the word we wanted to say. The fool in tarot. Like Jack Burton is, is the fool, right? Like everything just works out. You know, he plays it off. Like it's, you know, even when accidents happen, they happen in, in the best way. You're getting like domino energy. I'm going to do some Marvel tarot cards too. I, I wonder if that card will, will pop up for us. Have you guys ever seen Deadpool? Uh, uh, Domino, the beautiful, I forget her act, uh, the actor's name, the actress who plays her, but beautiful woman. She was in The Joker as well. Um, and also Bullet Train. But how everything just works out. It's good luck. That's your mutant ability. I know it doesn't feel like that sometimes. Let's say this. That's our mutant ability. Okay, I know I'm wearing a DC comic book over here, but uh, we'll be getting to some Marvel cards. But I'm going to stick with these. I split the deck here. Ooh, getting ready. Uh-oh. I love it. I love it. Talk about Bam. Getting ready. Look at this. Got a tarot card uh, reading going. You're a tarot reader. You're psychic. You guys are always, if you're drawn to tarot, even if it's for fun, know it's because you're psychic. Your guides whispered it in your ears, right? And some of you were raised with it and really into it. That's great. I always thought it was cool and, and, and none of them were wrong what they said, but it, again, there was no details to it, but they were absolutely correct about times I made money, where I went. Uh, there's just one big thing I'm still waiting for, but I know it's going to come. I know it's going to come. You're getting ready. Or, uh, I said getting ready. Getting readings. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'll learn to read, everybody. Talk about readings. Uh, getting readings. Yes. That's why you're here. You and me both. That's so funny that I said getting ready and then talked about readings, right? Oh, my goodness. I love how this works out. Getting readings. Yes. Just to get that extra little answers that you need. You also have the answers. Pull your own cards out, y'all. Have some fun with it. Uh, I think you'll be surprised. I'm hearing someone too, wait a minute, that's like demonic. It's not at all, man. It's it's divination, okay? It's divination. Synchronicities and signs are everywhere. You want to look at it from a scientific point of view? Go right ahead. It's the same thing. John Edwards said it best. Science is God's religion too. What? That's right. That's right. Um, ooh. Faith, healing, meditation, praying. Damn right. Okay? Your prayers are going to be answered. When? That's always the question, right? And I'm hearing the usual answer. Have faith. Have faith. Yes, when you least expect it, but also when you need it the most. Okay? It's like that the, the NOS gets hit. Some of you already know how to like light the NOS up for yourself, but that's your spiritual NOS. You know, like from Fast and Furious, I'm called a spiritual NOS. You're going to turn that up and light it up, okay? Okay. We have drinking. We have toxic lifestyle. That's why we're saying to meditate more. Getting readings. For some of you, this is you, but it's not you as well. When I said that, there's many of you who immediately thought and went to something. Maybe you do weed, drink, uh, smoke weed or make brownies or something. You're like, oh, I shouldn't. No, 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 no. You do you. This is not that energy. You may feel it is that energy, but uh, I'm not getting that it is. Someone in your present is doing this. And they want you to go down with them. Break away from that. These are some of those individuals. I get it. I love to party too, but... It's, yeah, for some of you, it's about the money. Take a little break from it. It's okay. No FOMO for you all. No FOMO at all. This is the past person, psycho. Hopefully it's not a present situation here. Crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go. Boom, right there, y'all, right there. Now, this person is gonna try to do, I've had people try to do this to me, uh, say that you're the one. Maybe, maybe some of you are, but no. I think you're being led. If you're watching tarot, you're being led to, to seek the truth, okay? This person tried to make it like you were the crazy obsessed one. Okay, when they're the ones, they set up situations. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this right here. Okay, they set up situations, talked with their friends about it. Like you should do this. Like that's a good idea. Uh -uh -uh. Horrible idea. They found out somehow about where you were going to be, right, from f social media. Even it's at work and things like that. And they just showed up. And, and it was like, what are you doing here? Are you follow me around? They clearly planned that to happen to make you look bad. Okay. Some of you might want to get a restraining order, but know that you, you 
Some of you all felt that it was this like really glorious moment, like the synchronicities and you saw it and you thought it was a spiritual thing. We're not saying it's not for you. Definitely not for them. They planned it, okay? And the, the person they're seeing now, they planned it as well. It's like they, they sit and manipulate together. Humans, man. Why are humans so freaking weird? Like I just had this huge channeling about these past uh, girls that I dated, one for eight years, who planned... I'm sorry, she didn't think of it as my downfall, but she purposely got me out of a job that paid me eight grand a month. Who would do that, right? Because she was, I don't know what she wanted. She never told me about it. She gave me an ultimatum. This person, did they do something like that? To try to see what you would do, like a little test? And you broke up with them for it. Good for you. I wish, hey, I wish I followed your suit there, Aries. Okay? Ooh. Okay. In the past, but I'm seeing a little bit of the future as well. We're getting a little reckless love sex, okay? Um, some quick in and out. Someone might be quick on the draw as well. You know what I mean? That's okay. You know what's, I'm getting that some of y'all don't know how to get over someone. Not for everybody here, uh, but you you, you feel the, the best way to get over someone is to get under someone else or vice versa over someone else. 11, 11 on the clock. Sure. But now you just added more issues to the scenario. That's what this other person did as well. That's why they, they contracted, oh my goodness, contracted. And I'm not saying contract, no, no, contracted another lover just like them. That's a really interesting channeling I just said. Because you contract what? Sexual disease. But it's not that. They contracted a person just like them. Someone's a contractor as well watching. How you guys doing? Um, some about contracts as well. Not just a spiritual contract, a karmic lesson. And you all knew it, right? I think at the time, but also now you can look back and, and really, yeah. I'm so sorry they're not out of your life yet. And, and maybe this reading kind of brings them back around, but know that it's going to get easier and easier. You're going to get less triggered by it and less triggered by it. And actually more information will flow in. This will help you with future people. Okay? Future people. Now, for those that did the reckless love, who... Did you use someone to try to get over? It didn't work out well at all, did it? Did they start to stalk you or did they start to call you all the time? And like, why'd you... Why aren't we... You weren't honest or... Again, this could be vice versa. Um, you learned that lesson, didn't you? Or they learned that lesson. So I think we're on the mend. We're getting better with it. We're getting better. Woo! A Jezebel. What's going on here? That's pretty hot too right there, but... Someone's really in their sexual lust energy. Not all of you. A lot of you are, are understanding this. I think you did the work to really get past this. Like you um, you really harnessed your, your future self. Not only your sexual energy, but that great sexual energy, that love energy with it, you know, that can supercharge you. Um, but you had to get through this, this reckless love, this Jezebel energy, um, jumping from person to person to person to person. And that's hard. Isn't that weird? I, I know I've gone through it too and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I got to stop this. I got to do what I do. I got to do my thing. And the more time you spent in hermit mode on your own, the stronger you've become. The more you have know thyself, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to shuffle this one more time here. Someone's masturbating a lot. Ooh, look at this. Again, faith, healing, meditation, praying. That's twice now that popped up. I'm putting this on the board. Okay. We're going to shuffle that. I'm going to show you guys. This is off and on, hot and cold, detached, ghosted. I'm not going to even show you the card. I think that's all you needed to know with that. What's the future energy for the Aries in love, please? Hmm. It popped up again, but I do want to show this GPS. Okay, um, follow your follow your true north. Follow your spirit. 
I remember one day all my technology broke down on purpose. Uh, not that I purposely did it, but I remember back in back in high school before uh, you know our phones, our GPSs. The GPSs used to be like this freaking big, and it would be on your dashboard. And it was hilarious. My dad still has one like that. It's great. Um, but you would get like MapQuest and things like that. But I remember I never would get that stuff. Or if someone had it, I would literally just follow the signs, and I would always get where I was going. That's how like, I traveled a lot as a kid as well. I'm from a military family, uh, a lot of polyamorous swinger things in the military I didn't know about. Anyways, that's for someone very specific. But I remember that day, the past like two years, all my instruments like went down on purpose. Like I'm here on purpose, and I had to get to the airport to pick someone up, and I just followed the road signs. And I forgot there was these little road signs. Um, and it wasn't a big airport, so it was where I'm from. There's a bunch of airports, but I had to go like an hour or so the way that where they're flying in. But there's these little signs on the side of the road, and my spirit guides would guide me to it, and I would see them, and I'm like, I'm on the right path. I'm doing this without my instruments. So know that your GPS, right, won't always get you where you're going. How many times does it put you into a wall or put you into an ocean? You're like, I can't turn there. And they're like, turn right now. And you're like, I can't turn there. That's not your spiritual self. I've had this happen a lot with GPSs in the past. Again, off and on, hot and cold, detached, ghosted. Okay? Let me know in the comments. Who's that for? I'm going to shuffle this one more time. Woo, we got the love message coming in. You're getting, there we go, a future love message. You never really stop playing the field is what I'm hearing. Off and on, hot and cold, detached, ghosted. Is this you or them? You or them? All right, let's see here. Happy, happily single. Doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, career focus. We just said that too. We just said that. Uh, I can say play in the field. You were playing the field a bit. You were just tired of like individuals. You wanted to be free. Um, and not knowing that some of this would be anger because of these past individuals. Watching you grow up and have a good time. Men and women watching too. This is you doing you. Again, be careful because these other individuals don't know you're, you're just being your single self. Tell them, okay? And not as a ploy, because it's funny when you say that to somebody, they're like, oh, well, uh, maybe I, I chase you. No, 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 you don't want that energy. You don't want that energy, okay? But you're good. You're feeling happily single, okay? Doing you. Stress-free. I'm glad the stress-free is going to finally come in. Um, something about work. You're focusing on work more. You're getting that career going for you right there. Losing sleep, worried, replaying events, thinking about you. I don't see you're the one doing this. Maybe some of you all. Oh, that's weird. There's something about this other person, these other people. Why do they, why are they so into you? And for some of y'all, you're doing this to them, but I'm really getting either you're getting into this single lifestyle but these other individuals like they couldn't control you. And why they lose sleep over it, that's weird, right? That's weird. I was gonna say, they're, they're coming up with, with situations, but they're not, they're not at all. They've known what they did. They know exactly what they did, their agenda toward you. And that, oh, that upsets them. Isn't that crazy? That's some psycho shit right there. That's some, bam, right there, psycho, psycho stuff. But it's good, you're closing this cycle. You are closing this cycle. Apple's on a row here. And I'm getting uh, Steve Jobs, right? Apple computers, of course. You can look in the past and see how all those dots lined up, right? Just trust yourself. Trust that they're still going to keep lining up. And I mean all the good things. Even he had, you know how psychic he was being? He was extremely psychic. Why don't you think he did any radiation at the end of his life? Just ate his fruit. Just fruit. Okay, they're Dolores Cannon followers and, and galactic beings. He knew a lot more than he told everybody. Um, yes, thank you. That's really the path I see us on right now. Closing cycles, but also we have round and round cycle, 
cycles triggers lessons, okay? I know that's confusing everyone, but listen, you're closing those cycles, being aware of it, being conscious of it, okay? You're gonna get into another cycle or situation that's gonna feel like an older situation, but it's not because you're wiser now. And for a lot of you, I believe it will be a spiritual awakening, okay? It's like a lot of you are getting into a new situation, a new cycle where you're making lots of money. Like a past cycle when you were really making really good money too. But this is even more money, right? Now some of you, it may be less money, okay? But you know how to get through it. It's nothing like that same cycle before. You're much more conscious, you're, you're much more motivated, you're much more focused. You know how to maneuver things better, okay? So yes, those old cycles, what? closed okay so yeah you have a new one that's opening i know it's weird to say that and that's okay we all spiral right up not down we spiral up in a good way you know what you learn you learn to live in the moment having a good time taking vacation letting yourself to be stress-free stress-free okay that's where you're going with it on here and it's funny with the love messages i'm not seeing a lot of uh a lot of love. I'm going to pull one more here. Let's see what we got. It's like I'm psychic here or something here. You know what I'm saying? Sweet talk. Sweet talk. Got a little sweet, sweetie sweet talking. Got a little sweetie somebody coming in that's there. You guys going to share wine? There's two of cups is what I'm getting right now. Not only is the sex going to be great, everybody. The conversation to be even better. They're going to stimulate your mind as well as your loins. <laughs> yes. I love that. Okay. Let's put these away. I'm going to jump into my Marvel cards here. Let's do some money. I want to see what your mo future money is going to look like here, everybody. I love I have a card over here that calls, says, uh, they call me Mr. Tibbs. You know yourself now. Okay, you know yourself, you know your boundaries, and you're not afraid to say it. You're not afraid to say who you are to people. That was something you really had to work on, Aries. That's interesting. 22, 22 on the clock. That's heart as well. Following your heart. I'm just going to show these right here. So starting off, we have the Page of Cups. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hold on. We have Miles Morales, right? The Page of Cups. You're open. Again, like the fool, foolish energy is what I'm getting. But not like you're a fool, but it's like you have this young at heart energy again. It's like you're so optimistic. You're incredibly smart. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Someone knows technology really well, but it's your vibration. Like a spider. Boom, right? Someone might be uh, Latino or Afro-Latino. Latina. Let me know in the comments, everybody. Thank you for watching. But you're the new one. Remember, this isn't like old school Spider-Man. This is this is Miles Morales. You can also watch me, watch my uh, acting reels. I did a short film called Spider-Man Lives, and I played the kangaroo, Australian. I, and uh, he's a villain, but it's a great little short film with a guy playing Miles Morales, and we had an awesome stunt team. Uh, one of the stunt guys actually does a lot of Marvel stuff now. He was in uh, Miss Marvel's. I forget, Khan, something Khan. You, check it out. He plays the ball. He's the bald head guy, the shaved head guy named Dan. Great, great martial artist. His acting's gotten really good too. It used to be really big. Now he's very calm with it. It's really great. But back to you, Aries. I wonder if he's an Aries. Back to you. And remember, Paige is just new energy, okay? Some, some folks think it's, I'm not saying they're wrong with what they're saying, but they think it's like, um, like young, it is young energy, but you're a master of what you do, right? You get the powers, you get the gifts because you're the master of what you do and what you're going to do with them is something outrageous, okay? You're, you're not afraid, Aries. You're an Aries. You like to jump in. You jump in, you get it done, okay? And if you live in New York City, a shout out to y'all. And also my Aussies out there, how you doing? Listen to your intuition, your instinct. I'm getting the uh, spidey senses around him there. 
yes, sometimes it's danger, but also can lead you to your higher self, your better self. We have a Knight of Swords here. Misty. A little Misty if you guys watch Iron Fist at all. Uh, Luke Cage actually as well. Yeah, you've done a lot of detective work. Which has kind of really put you in your Knight of Swords. Like, I'm getting this badass female, like, afro, like, boom, chicka, boom, 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 chicka, boom, 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 boom. But, but justified. Because you had to do the detective work to figure some of these people out, to figure, even to figure out your own self, right? You did a lot of self-reflecting. But certain ideas just came to your head, right, about these individuals. It was like they were committing crimes around you. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Get away from them. Get away from them. This is why they were drawn to you as well. You've got the strength. You've got the power. You were the beautiful one. If you have an afro, let me know. Let me know. I love that. I'm going to shuffle this again. Oh, maybe not. Because your knight of swords, it's so funny, her name is Misty Knight as well. Someone's a stripper watching. And I love that you watch. You're extremely psychic. I think you know it. You know what a... a a client or a customer is going to say before there's a lot of people we get a lot of sales people in here um but you know what they're going to say before before they say it it's not always the best of thing this is not for the sales people the sales people you just know the situation and you're just really good at talking and you believe in what you're selling so that's always most important you know why that is i love it the ace of swords the ace of swords excalibur again going back to this page of cups right Again, Miles Morales doesn't, he speaks, he's funny, he's charming, but yeah, he's not, he's not Misty Knight. He, he, Misty Knight, that night, you know how to tell people. You, that's why you've had to do the work. Okay, you've done the detective work and you know how to talk to him. Not only that, but you talk kind of sharp to him. But you get better with it. You become the ace of swords. You become a master. Think about swords, y'all. You've got to train and practice and become one of the best swordsmen in the world like a ninja. It takes forever to do that. That's where you are, and that's where you're going. This has something to do with your money. I'm getting He-Man energy as well. I am the power. I know, I changed it. But this is Excalibur, meaning you are the king. King Arthur style. Because that, that remember, it was the child King Arthur who pulled the sword. That young energy, that foolish energy. You, you're still staying very humble. You're staying very humble. But man, you won't let these people step back into your world. You will let them know. And that's what makes them want to run as well. Interesting. Sorry, everybody. Not that one. Gotcha. Okay. Let's shuffle it here one more time. Speaking has something to do with your money. This has been coming up in all my messages. Um, you might want to watch my workout video as well. That was, that was a big thing of it. I think currently maybe we're in a little five of coins here. Which is not a great thing, I know. I know. And it's drove me a little crazy because I'm getting um, Scarlet Witch here who went a little mad, right? Because uh, a lot of things just, just, just happened one after the other. A lot of bills. I think someone might have passed away. Uh, life got really tough really quickly. It's not that you weren't prepared. You were totally prepared. God always prepares you. Don't we all go, I wish I saved more and this? Well, yeah, but, but even I'm psychic and still there's certain things. And sure, you can say you, you want to learn them. But again, you are the witch. You are the brujo, bruja, right? Which is Spanish for witch. You've got the power. Just because this is maybe the moment right now with your coins. Some of you might be going into this energy, but you have nothing to worry about. Nothing to And you know why? Six of coins right here okay the six of coins All right and you saw me shuffle these captain america's shield it's like you're going to be protected not just protected but you're stepping into your truth into your truth and it doesn't matter you're white black whatever i know i'm wearing a superman shirt y'all same type of thing though right there hope hope you are speaking your truth and the the coins are coming in because of it because of it because of it i promise you guys I promise you, you are shielded like Archangel Michael's shield right here. You are shielded and protected. You might be going into a little bit of a hermit mode, okay? 
a little bit of a hermit mode, but this is your cosmic energy. This is why you're surfing the cosmos. You're really going to be able to look within and, and, and see things far, far ahead and understand how this energy works, the ebb and flow of life. Right? This is Silver Surfer. This is one of the most powerful beings of all. Someone is a surfer as well. Someone's going on vacation also, and you're taking surf classes. Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about that. We have a Seven of Swords here. Some type, something latched onto you. I'm going to say a person. Because I'm getting like an octopus thing. For some of y'all, this is uh, octopus energy, which is amazing as a spirit animal, right? You're incredibly smart, but I'm getting someone else. Something like an energy latched onto you. And actually, the next one we have here, too, is the, um, what is this? Eleven of Swords? Nine of Swords. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Okay, the Nine of Swords. Don't be afraid of this energy. This is that symbiote suit right there. It's like it was attached to you. But you're busting out of it. Man, you have such great things coming in, y'all. Yes, we have a little bit of this down energy on this, but you're transmuting the energy. You know why? Two of Cups. A little more love. Your money is doing great too, but love is coming in. Love is coming in. This is double confirmation with like Two of Cups on the board right here. This is also going to help you with your magic. You are the magician. Yes, for some of you... Yes, for some of you in the past, you're a bit of a, an egotistic, I'm, narcissist, yeah. you, yes, but no, because you didn't have an agenda to hurt others. But yes, is someone a doctor? And something, like I said, something happened, you went through your life and things started, you started losing things. But not only did you find the divine and find God, you found your own magic. You found tarot. You've seen galactic beings. Some of you will see galactic beings or spirits here very soon, very, very soon, Okay. For some of you, it is science because we have the king of wands right here for you. And we have beast, right? Ooh, I'm getting other things too. Something about, something, something brings the beast out of you. And someone's conflicted between science and this magic. Again, Marvel said it best. Tony Stark said, magic is just science. We don't understand. And Thor said uh, on Asgard, science, magic and science is one and the same. Yes, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Who's a scientist here? Did you all see that? Did you all see that right there? Someone play that back and watch. Was that an orb that just went by? You saw that, right? That's awesome. That's for you, Aries. So your magic is big right here. So we have the magician, king of wands, queen of wands. Seven of Cups. What we have here is the Soul Stone. This is solar plexus to me with the yellow right here, the confidence. It's just building your confidence up to be able to speak and make more money. You're already attracting it. We're not done just yet here. I'm into it, y'all. I'm in the zone. Cuckoo! Let's do this one. I just want to do a couple comic book cards here. It's all coming in fast, so fast, quick silver fast, right? This is um, this is like the eight of wands to me right here. Some of you move a little too fast when it comes to dating and certain things. It's okay. You've got the ability to do it. You know the right steps you're going to take. Also, you are super attractor. We, we just had your magic right here, right? Meaning the, this, your manifestations, things are coming in quickly, super quick, quick silver. Look up the spiritual meaning of silver as well and put that in the comments for me, everybody. Hold on. Polaris, right? You're attracting it. You're attracting. You're a super attractor. Okay? This is Magneto's daughter. Again, with, with this, yes, you're going to attract what you want, but also know that these other individuals, you're not attracting, but they're attracted to you because of your great energy. Also, your heart energy is just amazing with the green hair. Is someone here in Washington, D.C.? Because that's the White House behind her. Or the Capitol building right here behind her. Let me know in the comments, everybody. Okay? I'm going to split the deck here one more time. Aries, this is just you. Right here. We have the fire energy. We have Psylocke. Okay? You manipulate energy so easily. You don't even know how easily you can do it. Control your mind. Yes, be a little more positive. Don't discard your... your the, the, the angst or the negative feelings, the 
honor them because there's there's something about that as well that can lead you in that right direction like it's like you're this compass your energy compass okay and then you're over here and there's something you feel like mm -mm, that's not right and then you go in this way you're like yes right on over here for you some of you it is anger and you might be Asian as well let me know in the comments everyone and beautiful but this is how we're, we're finishing it right here this is all about you Aries right here this is the fire listen to it listen to it let it lead you in the direction you need to go all right, I love you guys, I love you. If you'd like a personal reading, please email me at mcdaniel.pat at gmail.com. M-C-D-A-N-I-E-L dot pat, P-A-T, at gmail.com. And always, please like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.